usually I hardly ever post two reviews in one day, but it's a special day. So here you go. Alpha is a new film directed by Albert Hughes and it stars Cody McPhee as the boy and he's part of a tribe and the tribe believes he's dead because he falls off a cliff he wakes up he meets a wolf along the way he becomes friends with the wolf and now him and the wolf gotta survive the wilderness to return back to the tribe about the movie he is not really known as a hunter a fighter and things but then what since he's by himself in the wilderness he has to learn all these traits he has to fend for himself fight for himself he has to learn you know, he has to be strong within himself, so therefore he can take care of himself. Because in all these traits that he couldn't do, he has to learn and he has to master throughout this whole entire film. This film is a, is a survival film, but with movies like this, this movie is pretty much wash, rinse, and repeat. Or you're like going to work every single day and you pretty much have to do the same routine. Monday, you wake up, drink coffee, go to work. Tuesday, you wake up, drink coffee, go to work. Wednesday, you wake up, drink coffee, go to work. Thursday, you wake up, drink coffee, go to work. Friday, you wake up, drink coffee, have sex. And then you go to work. It's pretty much the same old, same old. Isn't that a bad thing? Well, it just depends how you feel by watching this film. I did buy their, their bond between the boy and the wolf. I did buy it. But there's lots of times where the boy either sits down, talks to the wolf, talks to the wolf, sit down, walk in the wilderness, walking on snow. So at times when I was watching this film, here's my reaction by watching this whole entire movie. <sighs> Can I get my cell phone out? No, dang it, they don't allow cell phones with pre screenings. <sighs> The movie does feel like it's two hours. Like, when I was at the pre-screening for this film, I thought this movie was literally like two hours and 50 minutes. But then when I got back in the car, I was like, whoa, this movie is an hour and 30 minutes. But this movie, <laughs> this film was directed very well. The scenery, the shots, the landscape was just immaculate, beautiful. The cinematography was just beyond, was beyond crisp. I felt like most of the land that he was walking on felt like inhabitable. This whole entire movie is spoken in a different language because back in the deck in that time, you know, the tribe, the tribe people never spoke in English. They spoke in a different dialect, you know, ancient dialect. I, I didn't really have a problem with reading the subtitle, but my main issue is this movie. It's not a film that I could really recommend you go and see. And actually, you're, you, this movie actually made me bored. And sometimes I wasn't really Intrigued. I wasn't really captivated by none of the performances or anything. I, I I seen it. I've seen it. I seen it time and time again. You're better off watching The Revenant. Cody Smith had a fine performance. This movie was shot beautifully. I love the slow mo shots. The CGI of some of the animals is very noticeable at times. Not really bad. And for the scenery, you can tell that some of the scenery is a like green screen. But other shots, the scenery does look beautiful and immaculate. I gotta give Alpha a Michael Keaton Batman. This is just an average at best film. It's really, really below average, I would say. This film is pretty much like the breadcrumbs leading up to how men became friends with a wolf or dog wolf. Guys, have you seen Alphas? Nah, I don't really don't. Y'all don't, don't really have to see Alphas. But if you've seen Alpha, please give me your thoughts. Let me know and tell me what you think about the movie. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you like everything you see and you agree, click right here. Join me in the Batman family. I'll have more Batman-tastic views in the way. You have been warned. Till then, ciao.